What is sustainability? It's not about an individual. It's about a state of mind. It's about a vision for the future. Collectively, we have tremendous leverage in combating environmental issues. And that's what the Green Schools Alliance is about, is creating those connections. We are working with schools worldwide toward a future that is secure and healthy for everyone. We're gonna use describing words of science, okay? So like for instance, this shape is? I think we have this responsibility that we need to support our younger people and learning about the environment. Even if it's just to listen. Like there's a lot of good things in our environment, but a lot of people just waste them because they don't think they're very important, but they actually are. Also, the environment is important to me because one, it's where we live. Hi girls. Hi. Hi Mila. As a student, if we empower them they can change the world. One of the fifth graders read a story called A Long Walk to Water. And he was like, oh my gosh, this is horrible. Three, four hours a day, these kids have to walk for water. So he worked with the green team, and in a few weeks, they're gonna kick off a fundraiser to try to get a well for an area in Sudan. SC3 is a student leadership program that is done in partnership with the United States Fish and Wildlife Service. It's at their National Conservation Training Center in West Virginia. Some of you may be aware of this, and uh, kind of when he looks at the impact of global climate change, this is ground zero. We are a group of environmentally minded kids, and it's not where you have to act a certain way or like feel pressured to do certain things. The Green Schools Alliance is just there to kind of guide you and the way that you think about the environment on a day-to-day -day basis. Students come for a week and look at what interests them. Like, what is my passion? And then we train them to go back into their community and actually put that plan into action. I was able to get the school to purchase an indoor vertical garden that has a fish tank on the bottom and the waste from the fish fertilizes the plants so there's no soil. If you throw everything in the landfill, it gets buried underneath the ground and it creates methane, and methane creates global warming. This is the oldest compost bin, and inside is the food scraps. It's kind of amazing because the food scraps can like turn into soil that's good yeah. in the plants. We have a green school! It's a grassroots movement with nearly 8,000 schools in 57 countries, representing 5 million plus students. Um, this is an extraordinary opportunity to leverage that kind of collective impact and make a tremendous difference in the world. And this land is your land. This land is my land From California To the New York Island From the Redwood Forest To the Gulf Stream waters And this land was made for you and me This land was made for you.